Hey guys, General Explorer here, and today I'm going to show you how to fix the problem with your older fiberglass handle hand tools like shovels, rakes, hose, things like that. You know, we love fiberglass handles because they're strong, they're durable, and they don't break. But one of the downsides of them is that after a while, especially a couple of years, and if you work a lot out in the sun, they begin to develop little fiberglass shards that get in your hand, and man, it's irritating. I mean, just absolutely irritating. So, um, you know, your only choice then is to throw the hand tool away and get a new one. And that might be feasible if it's a cheaper, you know, $10, $12, $15 item. But in this case, I'm talking about a trenching shovel. And you're like, a trenching shovel? What the heck is that? Well, you've probably never seen one before. This is a very unique, old-fashioned style shovel. I'm holding it right in line with the camera so you can see that it's all the point of it's almost straight in line with the actual handle. And this allows you to almost use it like a spear, okay? And the blade itself, I don't know if you can see that. This is really super thick steel. You can actually sharpen this thing and use it like an axe and cut through tree roots. Um, this is a serious, hard-working shovel. And it's kind of black because I fought a, a grass fire the other day. A neighbor of mine was welding, caught the grass on fire, um, and got down there. He, he was trying to put it out with a little front-end loader, and that caught on fire. And anyways, it was a bad situation, but he come out of it all right, and I beat up, beat out about two acres of grass fire with this thing before the fire, de fire department got there. And he had some other shovels, and some other people brought some other wooden handle shovels down there, uh, and they all broke their stuff, but this one survived it, buddy. Um, because it's it's tough all right but this thing cost about eighty dollars so i don't want just to throw it away uh, because the handle is in bad shape so what am i going to do now i've thought about sanding it off painting it but hey i'm going to show you today how to fix this problem you know for about five bucks you can solve this problem and make this handle not even not not only good but actually better so here's what we're going to do I've got this special material right here that's about one and a half inch wide shrink tape, okay? Kind of rare to find this stuff, four feet long. I'll throw a link to it in the description uh, of the video. Just click on the show more underneath the video. Anyways, what we're going to do here is just simply slide this over the handle, okay? Right here. Now it's going to go on, got that rubber right there, just okay, so I finally got that on, this thing was kind of stuck, and it was, had a hard time going over, so now it's coated the whole handle, and now what we're going to do is simply heat this up. And it's gonna melt, it's gonna mold itself right to this handle and cover it up. So once you get the heat shrink tape over it, just begin to heat it up. And it will shape itself right to the handle. And this stuff is pretty durable if you can blow a hot blowtorch on it. Make sure you work it slowly up the handle. You don't want to end up with bubbles in it. Don't start at two different places. I'm going to go ahead and do the soft handle up top because it's pretty worn too. So we're going to coat it all the way. All the way up to the top. Alright, I'm going to go ahead 
go ahead and hit some spots where there are little tiny ripples there. Straighten now those out. right side up here with the shovel handle up here. And go ahead and we'll do part of the head. Now we'll just trim this part off right here. And we're done. So look at that now. A brand new coating for that handle. It's durable, heat proof, waterproof. You know, if it can take a blowtorch, it can take some sun rays and it'll keep that fiberglass out of your hand. Now we've salvaged this $80 shovel. Don't have to get a new handle for it. This handle's got plenty of use in it. And now it won't, you know, you can do this to a new handle uh, and prevent that from ever happening. So amazing stuff. Well, that is how you do it, guys. That's how you take an old fiberglass handle uh, that's getting fiberglass in your hands and make it new again and make it last probably longer than it would have originally. And that is as simple as that. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, please like, subscribe, and comment. And like I said, if you're interested in this stuff right here, I'll put a link to it in the description of the video. Just click on the show more. And until next time, this is the Jungle Explorer, signing out.